Nadeko, USA and EU shows up to prove Peter Obi's victory. Others the immediate arrest of Ainek Chairman and Tunubu. Good. I I was telling someone this yesterday that um Tunubu is noising about you know going about to choose member of his cabinet because the US has refused to say anything. You see, yes, it, 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 it was uh, said that uh, the U.S. president uh, later called to congratulate Tunubu. <laughs> it may be true. I'd say that it may not be true. But I want to tell you something. If it is true, then uh, Joe Biden did it in order to satisfy all righteousness. You understand? Now look at it. Is it not the same Joe Biden that have encouraged the USA, then the, the Nadeco and the EU to come out to get Tunubu arrested? And the INEC chairman. Now the, the proof that they have to show is evident enough. To prove that Peter will be won the election. Now the 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 Nadeko and the USA and EU are now challenging the INEC chairman that look, if you really claim that Peter will be won the, and that uh, Tunubu won the election, now we want to see a proof that the presidential election is conformed with the law of the country, is conducted under the law of the country. They want to really see it because they discover that even the president that was the, the, the person declared as president did not meet up with the section of the constitution that says that as a winner of the election, you must have up to 25% difference from the contestant, from, from your opponent to say. But there is nothing like that. In the case of Tunubu. So why declare him a winner? You can now see the, 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 the rigging there. So um, let's quickly check the content, my dear listeners. This is Morning News. Nadeku, USA, in a statement by its general counsel, W. Bruce Delville, leads a global call to action amongst international communities, asking INEC to show proof that results it declared for the February 25th presidential election are in conformity with the extant laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and International Human Rights Article 25. Bruce says it's high time the international community beamed its light on the Nigerian judiciary should they fail to do what's right? So, can you see? Can you see that? So, um, my dear listeners, uh, I, 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 I thought as much because I knew it that very soon it will begin to get hotter. And now it has begun to get hotter. And I know the people that will make it to be hot. And that is that has been the fear of Bolame Tunubu. But it's just, you know, proving Jagaban. <laughs> My people, uh, you see, there is something that we all need to know. To be a president, you don't need to pass through the back door. Anybody that passes through the back door to be a president, believe me, that person is desperate. And as a desperate person, he, will, he may not give us the leadership that we need at the end. And that is what we need to know and why we need to be very, very careful with such people. But we don't know that. We don't. You see that. 
So, um, with this, I will tell you that uh, the, uh, uh, the election was not um, properly uh, conducted. Yes, with reality. There is no beating around the bush about this. Let's face the facts. If it was all these arguments that we are having, all this intervention from international community will not be coming up. Look at the, uh, the, the president of Liberia. See how she blasted Tsunubu. Yes, she wasn't happy. She said this is the worst election ever conducted. So, what are we saying? So, my people, my people, based on this that has just been revealed, what's your take? Don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell buttons to receive more updates. Thank you.